ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they But hey there guys, so sorry I didn't film an intro earlier in this, but this video is just me attempting to get my life back to kind of a normal, because I just have had a couple of rough weeks with like midterms and grading papers and trying to be a person and like balancing having a social life, working and being a student, this is really hard, so I've really been just doing my best out here, but I've been kind of like pushing off a lot of stuff because I've been so busy and because of that like my room is a mess my eating habits have been trash I've barely been exercising like it's been a whole thing so this video is just me attempting to kind of get my life back to a minimum functionality we love that for me so this is the first time I made coffee for myself in the morning when I had to work not teaching in like a week and a half because I just have had no time. I usually sleep at my partner's house like every day, but basically last night, I yesterday was a rough, a rough day. I threw a party on Saturday and so I was up until like 4 a.m., which I expected and I'd kind of planned for. What I didn't plan for is some asshole calling in to my apartment complex maintenance guy and saying that people were parked in the parking lot that didn't have passes and getting my best friend and brother's cars towed. Hmm, love that. And they were being just absolute assholes about it. So that was a really bad start to my day yesterday. And then I spent a lot of it sleeping because I got like four hours of sleep before that shit all hit the fan. And so then last night I was reading this article from the Every Girl that basically, so I'm like screen recording it on my phone, but basically it's like seven like Sunday rituals to set you up for a good week. And I kind of realized that it's gonna take me all week to kind of like prepare all of these things that just kind of set you up for a good life and a good week and stuff. So, you know, we're just gonna try to do some, some good stuff. Um, my camera's kind of dying, but before I get home, I have to stop and do some grocery shopping because I'm literally out of every grocery. I have literally like all of my frozen food that I eat when I'm like out of normal fresh food is also almost out because I've just been relying on it so heavily because I've had no time to cook. So we're gonna try to meal prep, we're gonna cook, we're gonna be healthy and it's gonna be a good time. So yeah, I gotta get some work done right now because I'm supposed to have a midterm essay due later, but my professor let us slip that he was okay with giving it that extension, so I just emailed him and asked for one, and I'm really hoping I get one, so I'll catch you guys on the flip once I'm done working. I left my shift a few minutes early because no one was swimming, and I am literally starving right now. Um, I usually have something with protein in it for breakfast, and since I didn't, I just had the avocado toast. I am absolutely starving right now. Um, instead of going grocery shopping now, I'm gonna go after class tonight. So right now, I'm gonna go. I already called in an order to my favorite burrito place because on Monday, they have really, really cheap meatless burritos. So I got one for me and my partner because it's like a thing that we always do on Mondays and I'm gonna go over to their apartment and take a nap because part of being an adult is sleeping enough and eating when you're hungry and listening to your body's hunger cues and stuff so I'm working on that time to get my life together more So I got back from Jesse's about half an hour ago. It's like 4.30 right now. I slept an hour longer than planned as I almost always do on Monday na day naps. So all that for me. But I'm gonna clean off my desk a little bit and then get into writing this midterm essay that's supposed to be due later. 
Um, I asked for an extension and this professor is notorious for like not emailing people back and then being in class. I mean like, oh yeah, by the way, you have your extension, it's fine. So I'm hoping that that'll happen. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm trying this new thing. Um, I saw it in a best dress video where she has like a candle that she lights anytime that she's doing like productive things like cleaning or working. Um, I think she does hers just for working, but I'm gonna do this kind of like for any sort of like decluttering or working. Like this candle is kind of Pavlov dog myself into being productive when this candle is lit. Look at this cute little Aries lighter. This is a lure white cactus candle. It smells so good. I got one of the cause box things, which is like bad fit fun, but it's all like sustainable and ethical products instead. So I'm excited to use this for the first time. So let's Pavlov ourselves, you know? which is great because I have about three and a half pages right now but the minimum is four so and also I like literally haven't even gotten to the main point of my essay yet I'm gonna accidentally write an eight page paper which is fine because I want to expand on this for my final project so I can just only have to add a little bit and just take stuff out from this so I gotta get ready for class now I like to wear makeup when I go to class I like to look like oh listen like really put together is how I like to go to class I'm gonna do my makeup I have a cute outfit that I picked out yesterday I'm really excited because also in my cause box with these makeup brushes and I just I haven't owned like a full set of makeup brushes like this before and they're so nice this is honestly what's the selling point I'm gonna blow out my candles since I'm not being like homework productive anymore so really out here you know <laughs> obsessed with this sweater i got this at express on black friday like two in 2017 i think so this is honestly like my favorite sweater it's one of my favorite black friday things is getting a new sweater from express so got that i got this little gold velvet scrunchie and then i've got this necklace that's from my cause box too i don't remember where it's from um and i've got these really cute little face earrings that are from my favorite shop back home because my glasses have like gold on them now so when i wear my glasses to class i like to do gold accessories so that it like balances and fits works all that so yeah i'm just wearing like plain black jeans and i'm gonna throw on like my adidas or something but i look just like put together even though i'm just wearing like a sweater and some comfy jeans but you know we're rolling with it so i need to i don't know if i have time to eat like before class but i should i'm gonna go try so i'm at class right now i'm filming from this really weird angle because someone's currently parking next to me but i ate a microwave burrito and now i'm off to go sit in a class i did zero homework for at least i'm showing up and that's what matters recipe from Tasty, this blueberry muffin overnight oats. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
get started on this. My upstairs neighbors are like rearranging their furniture. They do this every fucking night. How many ways can you move around your motherfucking dining room table? Makeup, brush my teeth, all that fun stuff. I didn't feel like doing it. I honestly just wanted to go to the fuck to sleep. But trying to get my life together means trying to clear up all the acne that I've been getting because I keep not taking my makeup off before I go to sleep, and that's super bad for my skin. So love that. So I'm just gonna make my bed because it's an absolute mess right now. I honestly don't sleep in my bed that often because my partner has a cat, Spanky, who I'm obsessed with, and when I sleep over there, he sleeps next to me and is really cute and he cuddles with me. So I rarely sleep at home, but my partner is sick right now, so I am just, this is my second night at home sleeping in my own bed alone, uh, which is in fact a streak since my partner got their bed like a week into October. I have not slept more than one night in a row in my bed, especially not alone, so it's kind of weird. I lost this hairbrush when I moved and I just found it in my closet, so... <laughs> <laughs> just like me in the 11th grade, just chilling in my closet. That took way too long for me to do. Ooh. 